to my YouTube channel Life is a Circus. Um, so today I want to film a bit more of a kind of sit down video. Um, I want to film a how to live a healthy lifestyle video. Um, the thing that I want to talk about today is also important to be a good sportler and my youtube channel is all about um living healthy um um how to be a good sportler and because of that um i want to feel my mental health routine or what i do to be mentally good and um i think we all can learn something in our mental health because it's something really important and um, I think everyone has something what's not perfect in your uh, mental health and in your brain but you can again as you you can also build up strength with doing fitness and workouts but you can also help your mental health to be perfect um, with a few exercises and I just want to share with you what I do to be healthy. So let's start with um, when the day starts and that's obviously in the morning. I'm um, going into my bathroom and I'm doing some morning stuff like brushing my hair, putting my night lenses on and then I say my affirmation and that's the first thing you can do. Uh, affirmation is um, something like a slogan and important is that slogan has to be something which you have to learn so you can or something which which affects you positive something which you're not strong mentally so I can say um, I am really bad at, um, I don't know, at um, rope skipping. That's a really negative sentence and I don't want to hear that because that affects my mind and my mind says to my body, you are really bad at rope skipping. So your body knows it and you won't get better. But if you say every morning 20 times for 30 days, I am good at rope skipping, I am good at rope skipping, I am good at rope skipping, I am good at rope skipping. If you say that one slogan every day for 30 days, 20 times, that helps you to get better and never use the negative form so don't say I'm not bad at rope skipping because your brain doesn't know the word not so it will blend the word not out and it says I'm bad at rope skipping so never use the word not use the really positive one so I am good at uh, we can make an example with I am um, you're maybe thinking you are really nervous before a presentation so you're saying I am really nervous before a presentation never say that word then you can do an affirmation which is I am self-confident don't say I'm not nervous because the not your brain can't use so never build sentences with not affirmations have to be positively so um, I'm doing that every morning when I'm staying up I'm and getting ready in my bathroom. It's good if you do it in front of a mirror or something so that you can see yourself. Or you can also tell and it has to be it has to sound self-confident. Um, you can also tell that slogan or that affirmation somebody else if that helps you more or just in front of a mirror. I like to just do it in front of a mirror and I think that's the first really good tip to keep this affirmation and what I also like to do um, right when I'm waking up I like to say it's going to be a good day 
And you know what? That really helps. Since I'm doing that every morning, I think my days are so much better. And also, if you have one bad day, you can say in the next morning, today is going to be a good day. And if you say that loudly, your brain will say, today is going to be a good day, so, so it will be a good day. That's a really good slogan too. Um, I'm just saying that every morning, not 20 times, so that's not really an affirmation for me. It's just a slogan and that, for me, sounds really positive. Then the next thing, which also belongs to my morning routine, is a five minute breathing. So you may be thinking, breathing, how boring. I also find it boring sometimes, but it really helps. So, um, your brief is something really important also to live healthy and be healthy it's important that you brief right and um, also if you have challenges in life or when you're nervous or stressed it's important to breathe and that helps you calm down and um, for me it also helps me to focus so I'm doing a five minute breathing every morning um, and then I'm really focused on the day and um, it's also not so easy to learn how to breathe so it's good to learn it so um, I'm just listening to somebody who um, gives kind of breathing advices and um, it's just it's called the six minute breathing um, but you can also listen to calming music and just breathe while you listen to the mu music but important is that you do nothing else except for listening to your breathe if you think about something else it's not working you again have to think on your brief and it's not so easy but just think about I am briefing think about what your do body does while you are briefing and important is if you if you breathe in your your stomach is going it's blowing up so and my my chest is is going up my stomach is going out and if I'm breathing out my chest is going in and my stomach is going in but I'm not getting smaller I'm also growing with my chest so I'm always growing when I'm breathing and that's just really important to know Then next I'm coming to the stuff which I'm doing every evening before I go to bed. You probably already know it if you watched my mental health routine video which I uploaded a few months ago. It was all about um, writing my diary in the evening. But I'm just going to repeat the steps quick because like yeah. Um, so first in your diary you can just write down all of your feelings you have it's sometimes really good and helpful to just write your feelings down so let them out write them in a diary then next um, it's really helpful before to go to bed to think about the goods you had on that day so write down what you are thankful for because often you're thinking too much about the things that weren't perfect or weren't good um, but it's important to um, enjoy the little things um, so write that down and then I would also read your slogan that uh, write down a slogan or an affirmation a few times and then I would do a kind of review how your day was and stuff like that and then important I would um, write down at least five different successes of the day so your success of the day 
Uh, it can be something really small, but think about that because like you often make yourself smaller than you are. Make yourself great. So write down what your success was. I'm sure you will find some stuff if you just think a little bit and in time it will get easier every evening to find a good success of the day. Um, so it's also an exercise kind of. Um, for the last thing I have something which you should do during the whole day. Um, if you have a fear, so let's say I'm afraid of spiders. Never say that loud. I already said that on at the beginning of this video. Never say I'm afraid of spiders. And if you see a, or if you or if that um, thought comes into your mind, oh no, I'm afraid of spiders, then there are two techniques. The first one is make the spider um, somehow wrap it into paper or something and throw that onto the moon so kind of think that through into your brain you you're making it to a ball making it really small and throwing it onto the moon try to do that and really far away so this thought is not in your brain anymore and if this thought comes again you do it again do it again and again and again it's practicing it's it sometimes not works at, on the first time it never works at the first time so redo and redo and redo it work on it and um, then the other thing which you can do is basically it works perfect with animals fears of animals like spiders um think of something you think is really funny so if i'm having a a comic figure i really like i can turn that spider into that comic figure so i have to laugh about the spider or i can think of hmm i'm putting on some raining boots onto the spider's eight feet and then i can put on a head onto the spider's head so that's that's just think of it looking really awkward and weird and if that helps for you you can also draw it like that or just think it through in your brain i'm that kind of human i can think of pictures in my brain really well so i can now see that spider literally in front of my eye but if you think that doesn't really works for you draw it but that's also a great tip so that was it with my mental health stuff i do to care about my mental health and also i want to say again all of that stuff is hard work and hard training and never give up when it's not um going how you want it to go um, when you do it the first time try it and try it and try it and i will say it really helps you if you improve on your mental skills in all kind of life situations just to be happier to be more positive um, and if you're more happy and less stressed um you also do something really well for your health so um please care about that and um also not be shy to speak about if if you um have the feeling um you have to speak with someone about your feelings or something like that never be afraid of that um it's so important so thank you guys so much for watching this video please give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel down below and share this video with other people and also if you would like to and if you feel like it go check out my instagram account life is a circus bye bye i'm going to see you later alligator